Hello, here is a quick demo of the new visualization stuff we've built. We that is specifically Bund and I. Um, recently at a customer I got acquainted to Plant UML, a nice tool for textually specifying UML diagrams. It's actually really nice. It partially builds on Graphviz. And so I integrated or created a demo or a prototype that uh, would create the textual input to the plant UML from our models here. So for example, if you go to the build configuration here and you select the visualize option, then you get a diagram here that shows you the um, you know the diagram of module dependencies. You can zoom in, zoom out, refresh. These icons need to be changed or not very beautiful, beautiful yet, but anyway. So and what Bunt did most recently is that he built an SVG viewer. So this is actually an SVG viewer and not just a PNG picture, which has two nice things. One is that if you zoom in, you can see it, it's very crisp because SVG, of course, is a vector format. So you can do meaningful zoom. And the other thing is that SVG files can contain hyperlinks to elements. And you can actually, in the BATIC framework that's used here, Java BATIC, you can um, register your own uh, URL handler. And that allows us to click on elements and then select those particular elements in the editor. And so let me show you some of the other things we've built. This is obviously the uh, visualization of module dependencies. Let's close this and let's close all the stuff here. And let's take a look at uh, components. If you sec select an interface or a component and then visualize, you get a diagram that shows the components, the interfaces, and then the provided ports and the required ports. And of course, you can select. I have to show this all the time because it's so cool. <laughs> um, then we have, of course, um, state machines. So let's go to the state machines thingy here and let's select the state machine. This is a hierarchical state machine. And again, you can zoom, you can click, you can even click on the transitions, right? Um, we, here we have a non-hierarchical state machine. Uh, obviously, it works there as well. It's a little bit more ugly because you don't have the nice structure through the nesting. And of course, you can click. Then we have um, we have recently built this thing where you can, in requirements, specify high-level functional components. And so, um, again, you can select the component and visualize, and you get the component's name, the data items it owns, uh, the functions it has, or the capabilities as they're called here. And what you can also do with this language is you can define typical scenarios, right? So you can say there is a scenario store flight, which starts by the driver doing stuff. It calls setup on the iMemory store. And then there's an alternative, kind of an if statement that checks if the status is okay and so on. And so you can visualize this as well. And of course, you can click on the uh, participants and even better, you can actually click on the particular interactions. So, and the nice thing about this is that building such visualizations for new uh, model structures is really, really simple. You just have to generate uh, essentially text uh, that is uh, consistent with the plant UML grammar, which is simple. Um, and we don't we don't do this as part of the MPS code generation, as you can see. I didn't it didn't like you know like regenerate here, rebuild the model because that is not the kind of time when you want to do this. The, the, the rebuild is when you actually want to build running software. But so what we've done is we've built this uh, essentially through an interpreter or a visitor kind of thing, and so you can do this at any time. You just press you know either the context menu here, visualize, or you press Control Alt V, and you get the updated picture. You can refresh here. What we're going to do in the future is probably add a, you know a tapped pane thing here so that you can remember the last ten pictures and just switch between them and don't have to regenerate them all the time. Anyway, so this was a very quick overview over our new visualization facilities. This is really cool. It's much, much better than what we've had. And uh, this really adds to the usefulness of, of Embedder. I'm, I'm really sure about that. So thanks for watching. Bye.